I'm Gwen Ridenour with the Steam Powered Classroom, and I'm here today to talk to you about some fantastic children's resources to help you celebrate National Poetry Month. So I have selected a collection of poetry books that I feel like will engage kids in poetry and make them want to read it and write it and explore it and perform it, and I want to share those with you today. Uh, it's going to start off with a series of, um, of poetry books by Paul Janesco, and they're illustrated by Chris Roshka. There's three of these. This first one is called A Kick in the Head, An Everyday Guide to Poetic Forms. And if you can only choose one book to uh, ex expose your children, or your students to poetry, this is the one you should choose. It is fantastic. The table of contents is simply a listing of poetic forms, and each one of those forms is given a two-page spread. The illustrations are lovely. Chris Roshka is a fantastic illustrator. The poems are fun. So like this one says, you know, it's limerick over here. It gives a little bit of an example. It gives you a little visual to help you remember what a limerick is. This one's a bouncy ball to help you remember the rhythm. And then you have the poem. And at the bottom, then it gives a description of what that poetic form, how it works. And then you have these great illustrations. So it goes all the way through. It's a really great way to explore poetry. I use this with my kids. And um, we made a fun poetry where we wrote poems in different uh, forms that we learn about in this book and then paste it to a tree. You can read more about that on our website. Um, so anyway, kick in the head. Love it. The next uh, one in that series of books is called A Foot in the Mouth, Poems to Speak, Sing, and Shout. And this is for your more theatrical crew, the kids that want to perform the poetry and sing it and be loud or soft or however they feel inspired to be. Um, again, great illustrations, fun poetry, this is the one you want to do if you're going to have a big a group share. Um, so a foot in the mouth. The third book in that series that I like is uh, A Poke in the Eye, a collection of concrete poems. And concrete poetry, as pro probably you know, is simply poetry done in shapes. And the shapes can oftentimes reflect the, po uh, the poem's meaning. So this is a fun introduction to concrete poetry. Concrete poetry is one of my favorite forms of poetry because it does combine art and language so beautifully together and it captures the imagination of kids so easily. So I'm going to share a couple of more, uh, a couple more concrete poetry examples with you. This one's called Meow Rough, a story in concrete poetry by Joyce Sidman. This one is more colorful than the one I just showed you and its poems are simply descriptions of what they are. So the tree is, um, is a concrete poem, but it's words that describe the tree. The cloud are words that describe the cloud. This is a different way to think about concrete poetry. This is for, great for younger kids, too. Um, another one that I really love as well is A Curious Collection of Cats, and this one is by Betsy Franco. So again, another example of concrete poetry. I like this because it does such a nice job of combining the poetry in with the artwork to make a larger piece of art. And um, when I present a, a topic or something for the kids to, to think about, like for example concrete poetry, I like to give them several examples so that they can see there's not just one way to do it. So you might want to just write it in a shape, like, um, like the Paul Janesco book, or you may just want to create this fantastic colorful piece of art in which you incorporate words. Uh, so there you go, a curious, a curious collection of cats. I have two more I want to share with you. This one is called Poetry Speaks to Children, and this is a great collection of some amazing poets, and I like this book because it has a CD attached to it, and the CD is an audio recording of these poets reading their work, and it's nice to be able to hear that, to hear what the poet maybe had in mind, how the, um, how the, the vocal presentation of a poem is so, can be so very different from what you experience when you just read it. Uh, so another great way to experience some pretty fantastic poetry. And by the way, um, it's Gwendolyn Brooks, Langston Hughes, Roald Dahl, and, lot, and Robert Frost. A lot of really great people on here. So I recommend that one. My last one for this video is for the very young crowd. And um, this was called Here's a Little Poem, a very first book of poetry, and it's collected by Jane Yolen. And I've always loved this book. This, one, this one's been around for a little while. And the illustrations are absolutely beautiful. And the text is, is large and inviting, and sometimes the words kind of can be more complex and sometimes simple, but the sound is so nice, and um, it's a great way, it's kind of a combination of picture book and, and poetry. It's a great way to introduce those young kids. 
I um, would choose this as a baby gift. This would be fantastic and a great way to, I mean, preschool, elementary school, you got it. So I hope those are helpful. Uh, I hope, and I also hope you'll stick around and, and catch some of my other episodes uh, in which I'm going to share a lot more fantastic children's poetry books. Happy Poetry Month!